Alright guys, how's it going? Famine52 back again, and in today's episode we cross the Thunder Plains and possibly make it across the, uh, the Macarena Woods. Uh, let's get going. Alright guys, welcome back. In the last episode we uh, found ourselves uh, trudging through a bunch of cutscenes, uh, giving us a lot of lore about the game uh, here in Guado Salam. Um, and something I should probably note, this guy right here, uh, Meechin, I believe his name is, I've been getting him a lot of crap, I don't talk to him, uh, but if this is your first time through the game, or you're not really 100% sure about some of the background lore that doesn't really affect us directly, uh, go ahead and talk to this guy, because he does have a lot of information that can be useful. Uh, I just don't need to talk to him, and he talks forever. So that's why I don't talk to him. But anyway. Uh, where we are going today is going to be down the uh, Thunder Plane right here. And before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and go to our new uh, customization option down here. And let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. And uh, here we uh, have some of Riku's armors. And where we're going, uh, there's going to be a lot of lightning. And if you look up there at Riku's health, she only has 560. Uh, so she is not exactly our strongest character. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to take those eight lightning marbles that we got in the last episode. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on this uh, serum bangle or serum targe for right now. Uh, now she is warded against poison and she is completely protected against lightning. <clears throat> so hopefully while we're going through the thunder plane, she's not going to die right away. That's the hope at least. Alright, so let's get going. We The Thunder Plains to the Makalania Woods. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. The Macarena Woods. Oh no. We're here. Ah! How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. All right, so now we get a little tutorial about, uh, whoa, I've, I've always called this place the Thunder Plains, but apparently, according to the game, it's the Gandalf Thunder Plains. Uh, interesting. Anyway, uh, we get a little tutorial on how to cross the Thunder Plains. Basically, whenever the uh, screen flashes white, we need to press the A button, and the closer we are to these little lightning towers, uh, the better protected we are. And the further away we are, the more likely we are of getting struck. And uh, if we just go through the Thunder Plains mashing A, that's not really going to help us at all. It's, it's either going to cause us to get struck, or it's going to cause us to get in uh, some battles. So don't just uh, don't just mash the A button while you're going through here. All right, now let's get going. Right, right here, right off the bat, there is a. There is a chest, and uh, honestly, this first time through, I'm not really going to be too worried about dodging too many of the lightning bolts. Hey, I got one. Nice. Um, I find it actually really difficult to do first time through. Um, but right here, we can see we have a few new enemies. Uh, we have a new lizard type that is going to be weak to uh, ice. We have a new drake that's weak to water. I don't know if this one's a new drake, actually. Uh, but we do have a new... Uh, imp that is also weak to water. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, honestly stealing a lot with both Kamari and Riku, just making sure I get as much stuff as I can. Hey, I got a silver hour glass, nice. Ooh, I forgot that that guy, uh, I forgot that that guy petrifies you. So let's go ahead and cure up uh, Riku of that petrification real quick. There we go. 
Oh, and these drakes, by the way, if they hit, they hit hard. So, uh, you might want to take care of them before they're able to, to do that. Um... Let's go ahead and get Titus back in here. We already got the soft from the lizard, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of that guy. And Riku, go ahead and steal that Electro Marble. And because of that uh, lightning proof, that lightning bolt did absolutely nothing to, uh, to Riku. Let's just go ahead and keep on stealing until we're actually able to hit this guy. Which we were right there. Alright. And these guys give a fair bit more experience than uh, what we're used to at this point. Uh, just touching that guy to heal on up. And we have another chest over here. Containing two high potions. And here we have these guys again. And you know what? I'm just going to take care of the lizard and the drake right now. And uh, let's go ahead and steal again. Because uh, having those marbles is going to be very useful a little bit later. So let's... Yeah, basically uh, when when I get that party, I'm just going to kill the uh, the two lizards, if you will. The drake and the actual quick guy. And then I'm just going to steal the Electro Marbles until I kill the, uh, the imp. Uh, but something worth taking note of right here. Ooh. Before we do that, uh, we have a new enemy right here. This is called a Larva, and uh, he he will actually heal himself uh, by casting Light or Thundara on himself, and doing so uh, raises his health, but he also uh, gains a little bit higher uh, magic uh, in the process. Uh, but you can also steal Lunar Curtains from them, which is, again, going to be pretty useful. And let's see if we can take him out real quick. You know what? I'm actually going to uh, swap out Titus for Yuna right now. And let's just uh, water up the, the larva. Make sure we take care of him. And steal those marbles. And water again. Uh, water on this level is your friend. So is lightning proof. And you know what? That actually just reminded me that uh, our Brotherhood sword just uh, got upgraded with uh, Water Strike, didn't it? So we could probably put that on to Titus, do a little bit more damage as we're going through here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and equip that Brotherhood back onto Titus. But anyway, as I was trying to say before, we got ambushed right there, and now the lighting bolts won't let me get close. Uh, if you come up to these Cactuar statues, um, there is hey, stop that. Um, these are connected to. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the game real quick. These Cactuar statues are, are connected to uh, Kamari's uh, Celestial Weapon, uh, but the only way to actually release the Cactuars into the wild on the Thunder Plains is by praying to these things. Uh, I believe there's five in total we need to pray to, and uh, the more you pray to them, the more you can encounter, the more Cactuars you can encounter in battle. Uh, so just to make sure that I am able to encounter them. I'm going to pray at one of the statues and then I'm going to leave the rest of them as they are. Um, and we'll be back for the rest of the praying a little bit later. Oh, and uh, in order to pray to them you need to either press square on the PlayStation controller or X on the Xbox controller. And doing so releases the Cactuar spirit and we are now able to encounter Cactuars in the field. And back here behind this little alcove is a chest with 5,000 gil. Alright, so after that little battle, let's go ahead and continue on down here uh, through the Thunder Plains. Hey, I dodged another one. Nice. But of course, there's a battle right after that. 
Alright, so let's see if we can't get to uh, Shalinda down here. Let's see what she has to say to us. Hey, and here we have a... Uh, here we have a Cactuar. Nice. So, chances are you're not going to be able to, uh, to hit this guy. And they're not really weak to any sort of magic. Um, so... Go Watch ahead him. and try to hit it with uh, Waka, seeing as how his accuracy is the highest. Ooh, Waka actually hit him. Uh, but really, his main thing is we can steal Chocobo Feathers from this guy. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why we want to encounter him right now. Well, let's just go ahead and kill him. Don't worry about overkilling these guys right now. Unless you're using overdrives on them, you're probably not going to be uh, killing them. Alright, so Linda. Good day. Hi there. Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, Really? Uh, so I don't think it matters which one you choose right here. Uh, I'm going to go with Yep No Wedding. I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it matters uh, what you say right there. Uh, so, another thing to uh, be aware of, later in the game, this uh, this crater that we are currently standing next to and this lightning pole are going to be our best friends when it comes to uh, getting Lulu's ultimate we or Lulu's celestial weapon uh, because you can very easily control uh, what it is that you are what am I trying to say you can basically control the, the lightning bolts a little bit later in the game uh, but we're not going to do that until we can legitimately turn off uh, enemy encounters. I'm not going to use my little... Why did I bring in Titus when I know I was going to bring in Yuna? I'm not going to use the, the Steam's uh, no encounters in order to do that. I'm going to wait till we actually can legitimately uh, do it. But let's just go ahead and uh, steal some Electro Marbles from this guy. Kill the Elemental. And then be on our way. Riku, I still need to figure out what I'm doing with you. Alright, but continuing on over here, if we go on the right, uh, we can actually see a uh, little alcove here on the right. This little alcove is going to contain another battle. Uh, but this guy, well, this battle has a new guy, which is the Eyeball. Uh, which, if we are lucky, uh, his common steel is in fact a... What's it called? is in fact a high potion but his uncommon steel is a musk uh, which is a very useful item for Riku at this point and later um, so just basically what we're doing right now is we have two stealers that are just attempting to steal everything they possibly can and one character that is doing all the fighting right now and let's just make sure that we get all the items that we need couldn't steal anything but that's completely fine. And steal again. Nothing? Alright, fine. I'll take care of you. Be gone. Alright, so as I was saying, uh, down in this little alcove, there is another... Uh, Cactuar statue that we could pray to. Praying to this guy right now makes it so that we would have two Cactuars that we'd be fighting against in battle. Uh, but because it is linked to Kamari's ultimate weapon, I'm not worrying about it right now. Uh, but I am going to open up this chest right here. That contains a water ball for Waka. Uh, why did I come here? Oh, I know why I came here. 
I came here to cure myself, but because I just got that that water ball, it threw off my mental groove. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on up through the uh, Thunder Plains. Alright, now moving on. Uh, I don't think there's any more chests in this area. I could be wrong, though. Let's just get out of here. Hey, I dodged it. Nice. But I don't... There might be one or two more chests up here that we can get on this screen, but I don't think there are. Alright, so continuing on up the screen, we get a little cutscene. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? I think she's broken, guys. <laughs> yep, she's definitely broken, guys. <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. Whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? Uh. Pretty please? Just a few minutes. All right, so here we are outside of the uh, inn, and the rest of the party is walking away. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. And Rika is pleading for them to stay, but they just I'm keep too on walking. Young to die. You're mean, cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine, we rest. She's worse than the storm. Rico just badgered a legendary guardian to staying. I'm a little in an inn. tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. All right, so uh, this lady up here that is the caretaker of this inn is in fact a Blitzball player. And she is a pretty good Blitzball player. The only problem is she's incredibly slow. Um, and really the positions I need right now, the positions, the positions I have left open, I need real fast players. Uh, so I'm not going to be hiring her, but she is hireable if you want her. And she is a pretty good player. So, not gonna sign her. How you doing, Riku? Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Mm. Yep, so Rin saw her and knows exactly what Riku I've been is. Scared of lightning ever since. Alright, Lulu? Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Tiskel? Don't tell Riku, but we leave as soon as Yuna's better. Don't tell Riku. All right, Sir Waka. I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Anything else? No point asking. Mood she's in. 
All right, Kimari Ronto. You know resting. Go away. Kimari said, "Go away." Kimari said, "Well, fine. I was trying to be cordial." <laughs> It's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. This is going to be some journey. This is going to be some journey. Oren, you have no idea, bud. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Ren real quick. How goes your study of our language? It goes all right. That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. All right, so he gives us Alba Primer, Volume 14. H equals N. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Yep, that's him. Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Hey, you didn't even shove me out of the way, sir. I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Interesting, interesting. Anything else, Maester Ren? Mr. Seymour and his entourage passed by a while ago. And the maester is to be married soon? Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling everyone. Oh, they are, are they? Welcome to Rin's. Alright, so yeah, if you talk to Rin enough, you uh, actually gain access to his stores. Hey, we can actually buy grenades. Let's go ahead and buy enough of those to fully stock up. Uh, you can also buy a bunch of maps. I don't know why you would. I've never found a use for them. I'm sure that there is a use it in some of Riku's uh, mixes, but I don't know what they are right now, so I'm not really too worried about them. What about you? We could buy weapons from you. Uh, it doesn't look like it's anything too too necessary though. Uh, so let's go check on Yuna. What? Whoa! Inappropriate! Yes. Uh, oh. uh, uh, I, I, well, it's nothing really. I, I just, uh, um, uh, 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 I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey. Wasn't that that just uh, called Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, "Take care of my son." Huh? His son, Seymour. Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? Good job, Titus. You've made her run away. <laughs> what do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yes. So, so. Yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos to then. Yeah. Hold your chocobos, buddy. All right, all right. And lose the game. Alright, so 
Now that we are done with all that, let's Whatever go ahead and talk to all of our party again. Yuna's guardians. I know. And let's just go on with the journey, huh? Let's give Rico a kick in the butt and go, huh? <laughs> Rude. Let's give Rico a... All right. Lulu? We're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? Of course, of course. Kamari just shakes his head at us. He doesn't want to talk. How are you doing, Yuna? If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? If it's okay with Riku... Yes, we shall. Let's go ahead and uh, save up first. Don't want anything weird to happen. Oren? She's not going to move unless we do something. She's not going to move. Yep, so let's go ahead and talk to Riku. It's not stopping, is it? I thought Don't it would. Tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? <gasps> I'm not scared. I'm not scared, you hear? Hey guys, I think she's scared. Creeper. Creeper. All right, it looks like someone got dropped right here. What is it? It is a yellow shield, which is, of course. Ooh, I didn't realize it was lightning proof. I figured it was just gonna be lightning ward, but it is lightning proof for Titus. So let's go ahead and uh, keep on heading out. And uh, before we make our way up the uh, up the Thunder Plane, let's go ahead and turn around this corner right here and come back on through. And we've got some more of these guys, so more stealing is in our future. All right, anyway, so the reason why we came back this way is because there's a chest right here. Hey, I dodged you trying to open up the chest. Nice. Uh, containing an X potion. And this guy right here, the Iron Giant. Uh, takes half damage from lightning attacks, and uh, he is vulnerable to darkness, but uh, he does have a pretty powerful counterattack, so just be aware of that. And you can steal light curtains from him. Uh, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Waka right now. Bring it on. And I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm not going to bring in Waka. Uh, let's bring in Titus. Because, oh no, I need to do, I need to do Waka, because Waka is the only one. So, how shall we do this? I could do it with Lulu, but she's not going to do all that much damage. So, Waka is going to uh, dark attack this guy. He's not going to do that much damage because he has a lightning ball on right now. Ow. Okay. So that did not work the way I wanted it to. Let's go ahead and bring Titus in and revive uh, Riku over there. I'm fine. I'm fine. Then you know what? Let's also go ahead and slice and dice this guy. There we go. Hey, nice, we killed him. I was not expecting to kill him on that one. Alright. So let's go ahead and 
fix that from Waka, shall we? Waka, let's go ahead and get that, uh, that lightning strike off of you. And... Water ball? No, not water ball, because I'm really only going to be bringing you in for those guys. So the strength plus 3% and the strength plus 5%. And here we got some more of the larvas, so I'm going to leave uh, Titus in, build up his overdrive again. Alright, so apparently the overdrives that I have set are not working for me. Oh yeah, because I have everybody on Comrade, and right now nobody's really getting hit, so let's go ahead and switch everybody to Warrior. Actually, Titus. Titus, you can go Slayer. Yuna, you can go Slayer. Yep, there we go. Uh, and something... Sorry, my sister's cat yelled at me right there. Uh, but something to be aware of in this area, the, uh... The Cactuar Stone in this area, the one that you can actually pray at, uh, shifts as it goes through a cycle. Um... So, really, you just gotta wait at one and wait until it is available to be prayed at. Um, I'm not sure. Oh no, you do not need to have gotten all the ones in the other area. But as you saw right there, there was a prayable, or yeah. it did become prayable at that time. Uh, can you kill the Drake? You can. Nice. And I got the Musk. But so we are just going to uh, be. Filling up Titus's overdrives in these uh, in these battles right here, so nothing really necessary to show, but just letting you know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and see if we can't kill this guy. Not in one shot, but the next shot should kill him. Can we steal any more electro marbles before we do? Doesn't look like it. All right, goodbye. Now moving on back down or up the uh, Thunder Plane, I should say. Alright, so let's continue on up the Thunder Plane now. And uh, hopefully we can get, get to that safe sphere before we get into a battle. But you know what? This is a battle against a uh, Cactuar, so I don't really mind. Um, so something that we could do to make sure we kill these guys is summon an Aeon. Uh, let's go ahead and summon Ixion for the first time, shall we? My name is Yuna. Pleased to meet you. Alright, now let's go ahead and arrow spark this guy, shall we? Dead. Now we've got 350 experience for killing one of them, and we get 225 for overkilling one of them. Good to know, good to know. Alright, let's go ahead and heal on up at this save sphere, and continue on forward. All right, and we have one more cutscene before we are out of the Thunder Plains. All right, and just out of curiosity, how much? Let's see, we have 44 Electro Marbles. Uh, what about the other things that I've been stealing? And 17 Lunar Curtains. All right, all right. Cool, that's going to be helpful a little bit later. But let's continue on into our next cutscene. Everyone, wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? 
We're almost out of here. Let's go. I have to say it now. Over there. Somehow, hey, we're undercover. Why is it still raining? Always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. But but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jisco? Hey, that's fear. Show me. Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, you We're huh? your guardians. We're supposed As to help you, you through stuff like this, Yuna. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care. I mean, you're not going to stop her. No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? don't know but I think it is the right thing to do okay yes you need quiet I wish we could help somehow some way It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Makalania Temple, Oren, say it there. right. We guardians will wait until they're done and plan our next move. Understood? All right, Titus, so you are out of place, but in case you haven't noticed, uh, this entire summoning party is a band of outcasts. All right, and I... Oh, yeah, that's what's down here. There's another uh, Kakor stone down here. Anyway, let's continue on forward. There is another chest up there around the corner. All right, so let's go on and uh, figure out what's in this chest. A remedy. And we're almost out of the Thunder Plains. Steel. Alright, let's go ahead and get Waka back out here. Let's see if Dark Buster doesn't actually work. There we go, so he is darkened for one attack. And of course he missed. Got another Lunar Cutting. Let's go ahead and uh, dark him again. And you know what? 
I... What do I want to do? Is it Arctic Wind I want to do? It was not Arctic Wind. Let's attack regularly with Waka. No, I don't think drag. Let's throw a grenade at this guy. If you are playing normally, by the way, um, what you can do on this guy is power break him and, and armor break him. Uh, that is a lot easier than trying to figure out uh, what items you want to throw at him. But I'm still able to kill him. Alright, can we make it out of the Thunder Plane? We can make it. We made it! Nice! That's right, Riku. We're, we're out. Alright, so before moving forward, let's, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what I was doing with you, Riku. I was, uh... Bringing it around this beginning little circle. Then I was going to bring you up Titus's grid. So let's go ahead and get you the basic, uh, magic spells. Alright, now let's go ahead and move you up here onto this attack node. And let's increase your strength. And your health. And then I'm going to bring you up Titus's grid. And I'm honestly probably going to bring you all the way over here before grabbing Bribe and possibly sliding through the back end of your grid and have you just go through yours backwards. Kamari, go ahead and move on up. You almost got mug. Waka. Let's get you those defensive points right there. Titus, get you some more health. Orin, some more agility and uh, and health for you, sir. Lulu, some agility and magic for you. Yuna, just all around magic defense and MP for you. And that is everybody. All right. So continuing forward. You're worried about Yuna. Damn right I am. Of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be, in exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. <sighs> I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. Yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. 
It's That's not in her nature, is. Titus. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. All right, so after that little cutscene, let's go ahead and head up here for another one. Slow pokes. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And, well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. The Macarena Woods. To the Temple of Yevin of Macarena. Uh, let's go ahead and save up. Again, don't want anything stupid happening. And let's continue on to the uh, the forest uh, trail, shall we? There's a chest right here, I believe, right? There is. I was just going out of the wrong direction. A sleepy Kate Sith. That is a sleep touch for Lulu. And here we got some new way. enemies. Uh, we have a, another lizard called an iguana, another one of those armored guys, and a wasp. Uh, I am not going to be attacking any of these guys yet though. Let's go ahead and see what they have to steal. This guy's probably just going to be another potion or a soft. Yep. You missed. Let's see. Armored guy is probably going to be a high potion. Yep. And so we can take care of the lizard. And let's see, wasp, I'm gonna say remedy or a poison fang. Oh, high potion, I was wrong on both counts. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of the wasp. And then now, uh, Kamari, go ahead and kill the armor guy. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up a little bit because Riku kind of got rocked there a little bit. And move it on forward. Let's go ahead and open this chest containing 2,000 gil. And continuing... Here we have two more wasps, as well as another new enemy. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's name. But we can steal mega potions from him. And then the wasps, of course, are the same basic guys that we were fighting before. Let's see. Nope. Let's go ahead and take care of this other wasp. Ow. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, you're not going to be able to kill that guy in one hit. Let's see, Yuna. Let's go ahead and try to fire at this guy, Yuna. Nope. He did do about half of, half of his health, though. Alright, so we... This guy has uh, mega potions and high potions. All right, and you're dead.
And moving on. Oh, and if you get turned around in here, don't worry. Uh, these woods are very confusing. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up again. And there's a chest over here. Containing three Phoenix Downs. Donna! Here's that cutscene. Have you seen Donna? You... Have you seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. What? Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aaron. Yeah, Donna might be uh, a little annoying, but Bartello isn't bad. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. All right, and continuing on forward. As I was saying, continuing on forward, uh, we are going to have an interesting little encounter up here. A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. Alright, so the Makalania Woods uh, has a little mini game in it. Uh, if we run into one of these butterflies uh, with shifting colors, or not, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get our steel on real quick. Uh, because we have two new enemies in here. Uh, we have two water elementals. Let's see what we have to steal from them. Fish scales. Ow. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, raise up Riku after that slap of water to the face. And take care of at least one of these guys. But as you can see, these uh, these blue elementals uh, hit real hard. But they are real weak to lightning, of course, because they are water elementals. Ow. But that's alright. Let's just go ahead and take care of him. So as I was saying, if we walk into these butterflies, uh, we start a little mini game where we need to collect uh, blue butterflies and avoid red butterflies. And if we hit the red butterflies, we uh, get into a battle uh, with creatures that are actually stronger than the basic uh, fiends in the area. I don't think that they give us any more experience than normal. Uh, but if you are looking to capture specific fiends in here, or uh, just looking for a little bit of experience grind, uh, these butterflies are for you. Um, but I'm not going to be too worried about it right now. Uh, once I'm going for Kamari's ultimate weapon, that's when I'll worry about that stuff. But moving on. Here we are in another screen. And there's another uh, butterfly course on this screen as well. Alright, and continuing on. 
That's going to be our other little butterfly friend right there. But right behind him is another chest containing another remedy. And moving on. Here we have our first uh, Chimera. Alright, and uh, with the Chimera... Whoa, I don't know what I just said there. But with the Chimera, let's go ahead and lance at this guy. And he gives us Aqua Breath. And I could be wrong, but I think... Uh, if you don't have it yet, you can also learn a Fire Breath from this guy. And you can steal Lightning Marbles from him. Uh, he does hit hard, though. So just be aware of that. Let's see, can we do anything more with Lancet? Nothing more? Alright. So let's just go ahead and steal. And we got an Arctic Wind. Let's go ahead and Thunder him again. And steal. Nothing that time. Yeah, so uh, he cycles through all of the elements, in case you were wondering. Uh, I believe he has access to everything. Yeah, I believe technically each one of his heads is a different element. Um, could be wrong on that, but that seems about right to me. Uh, but I don't want to get hit by him again, so let's just have Kamari kill him. Alright, and moving on up here, we are almost out of uh, this screen. I doubt we'll be able to make it out without another battle. Yep, there we go. Alright, and here is another one of those butterfly courses right there in front of us. Uh, we are not going to be encountering that guy right now though. We are, however, going to save our game at this save sphere. And moving on up, we have a walker right here. Holiday prices on all items in celebration of nice to see more quarters ready. So let's see, what do you got? Sonic Steel for uh, 12,100. Uh, so I do want this. I am going to see something first though. Too so if we back out. Yeah, it's a little bit too pricey. How about this? Uh, 9,075. Uh, Alright, so yeah. When we, uh, first talk to this guy, just basically tell him that he is too pricey and he will drop his, uh, his prices dramatically. And let's go ahead and equip that first strike right on to Titus. Uh, he's not really selling anything else that I am particularly, uh, worried about right now. And, uh, before moving on, go ahead and head up this little path right here, and I don't know if you can see it there on the floor, but we have another Albed Primer. Uh, Albed Primer Volume 14, U equals O. And let's continue on forward. Wait. It is here. Somewhere. What's here? Something you should see. But... Sir Oren. It won't take long. All right, so after Oren cuts down the, uh, the tree root right there, I guess. Let's go ahead and follow him on through. And let's see what we have up here. This place. It's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are here too. Fiends are also attracted to these places.
Alright guys, so here we have a little boss battle. Uh, let's go ahead and steal this uh, this ether from him real quick. And uh, Riku could actually take this guy on completely by herself in two turns without using the spear grid. So let's go ahead and uh, use a non-elemental thing real quick. See, I have smoke bombs, right? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and throw that at this guy. And let's see, he attacked with thunder. Uh, so that means currently, if we attack him with thunder, he will absorb it. But he is also weak to uh, to water right now. Um, and he... The way this guy works, uh, he shifts his elemental alignment. Um, every so often, like I believe whenever you hit him with an elemental attack that he is weak to, he shifts his his alignment to a different element and uh, in order to figure it out you need to kind of hit him with a non-elemental thing and just basically use whatever the opposite is of what he attacked you with but because he attacked us with thunder that means he's weak to water so we want to take one of the dragon fang or dragon scales that we have as well as that MP sphere that we got all the way back in Luka and let's go ahead and use that Tidal wave. And overkill. And that was without using the sphere grid or anything like that. That guy goes from one of the toughest enemies uh, that you have faced thus far to honestly the easiest once you understand how to use Riku's mixes. And it looks like we get a sphere because of that. And we get almost 5,000 experience points, which is quite a bit. And two level 2 key spheres. Alright. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Jacked. Left it here 10 years ago. <gasps> My old man? Play it back. Mm -hmm. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Do I have to? Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite? Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Uh, let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. What's the point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Understand, but you 
You know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Anyways, I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. All right, so it looks like it Jack left serious, us a little sphere. But it was too late. He was serious. Jack had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jack, he... He was always talking about going home to Xanarkin. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve. It happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Alright, Jack's fears have magically appeared throughout all of Spira. Go find them. And in finding them, you will learn Orin's Overdrives. We have just learned Orin's Overdrive Shooting Star. Um, there are nine Wait. more. Hold yeah. on. Jack loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, as I was saying, there are nine more Jack Spheres throughout all the Spira. Um, I am about to backtrack and get eight of the nine uh, that are currently available to us. Um, so with that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode. But until next time, which is going to be my backtracking video, I will see you guys until then. So this is Family52 signing out, and until the backtracking, peace out.